Ooh, what's up, YouTube? It's your Lord and Savior, King D353 here. We've never episode, let's play Fire Emblem 7. In the last episode, we uh, went to, I forgot the name of the castle, but went to a castle to get answers after we were attacked on our way there. Sadly, their lord was killed, and we took out his assailants. We were warned of the Black Fang, and then moved on our trail. However, it seems we might encounter something... extra. Let's check it out. The Dying Words of Lord Hellman. Stun Elliewood beyond belief. Okay. Darren. The Marquess of Loss knows all. Despite the pain it brings, Elliewood takes this newfound knowledge to heart and sets out for Loss once again. On the way to Loss, he travels through to Callan Village. Elliewood and his party decide to rest there for a night. Chapter 13X The Peddler Merlinus. Bah! Dark already. We'll stop. We'll have to stop here for the night. We'll set out for loss at first sight of sign of sunlight. Marcus, prepare to camp. Yes, my lord. So this is Callan. You think we ought to present ourselves to Lord Hostin? We're simply passing through, so I don't see the need. I'm curious how Lindis is getting along, though. Lindis. Marquess Callan's granddaughter. Oh, her, the missing heir who dealt with Ludgren last year. Didn't you have something to do with that? Hmm. And the granddaughter? Is she a beauty? A beauty? She's... I don't... She's... I think it must be her Sakai heritage. She's strong. Striking? Too bad, isn't it? What? That we don't have time to see her love- to see her lover, boy. No, Lindis and I were not- You- you're not? Then why are you getting so worked up? Hector, don't make me angry! <laughs> you are so much fun to tease. Oh, and for anyone wondering, Lindis can end up marrying either of these two. Depends on your decisions. If I have my way, Lindis is gonna be single as fuck. Huh? What was that? Did you hear something? It was a scream. Someone's being attacked. Do we help? Of course. Oh no, someone help! Grr, stupid old fool. He kept us running in circles for hours. My, my valuable merchandise. What are you going to do? Hey, look at this. The old fool's wealthy. Ha ha ha. Our lucky day, eh, po Poozon? Let go, let go, let go! Will you let go? What a racket. Poozon, can we get rid of this simpleton? I suppose so. There's no reason to let him live. Oh my! <laughs> Release him. Who? I told you to let that man go. If you move quickly, we'll let you live. Ha! Huh. A pair of dandies like you? You know what I think? Living off your parents' names, prancing about? I despise you. Come on, don't hold back. We'll kill you all. Aye! You, they call you Duane, am I right? How do you know that? I am Merlinus, a humble and lowly merchant. I know nothing of combat. Please, you must protect me! Why is Hector down here at the start? Alright, so we got Roy... Oh, every- what? A lot of us are down here at the start. Who has the torch? You do. <laughs> You're a dodge tank, so you looking over there to find out what's up is fine.
speed and defense. I still need to use that Draco shield, by the way. Ah, right. You are still my line of sights. I do need to keep you up there. That's mildly annoying. Well, oh, right, I should have actually paid attention to, to hit. Ah, because you're in the woods, that's why. Okay. These are just random forts, right? I guess I could have Dorcas up here as well. Him and Matthew as a team should be able to keep anything here at bay. Really? Guy will be fine. I forgot the killing edge was on him, but eh. Luckily, that guy does not have any crit chance against me. I don't know if this map has reinforcements, but I might genuinely be able to kill everybody here. Except for you. I can't hit you for some reason. Good damage. It's a good thing I can't double. Oh no. Okay, he's still good. Yeah, only one of you will be able to hit me. And none of you have hand axes, so that's fine. Alright, you. Huh. Sarah can't reach to heal you, sadly. That was so unnecessary. Doesn't look like there's anything else up here. Stop missing everything!
I know there's a good chance this will miss. It didn't, though. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Ellie Wood. Yeah, and this man. Hector should be able to survive a combat against this man, right? Five, ten, eleven. Yeah, he'll take two damage per combat. Hector will be fine. I'll keep you down here. Actually, does Matthew have a vulnerary on him? No, he doesn't. Nor does Darkus. So yeah, you have to stay back here to heal them. Who hasn't moved? All oh, right, Matthew and Dorkos. All right, we got some more brigands coming from that direction. And now that guy's gonna start going up to attack that village. Ooh, I forgot about you. Well, looks like you're not gonna die immediately. You will take a bit of damage, but that's fine. Ah, that's a pretty good level up. Good on you. You know what? I'm not surprised you chose Dorcas. Because you can't hit Matthew, and I guess you know it. Oh no. I knew there was a risk of it going after him. I didn't know they'd go up immediately. I need to destroy a snag, like, now. Hollywood stand he Oh! It's not what I expected at all. Um... You have too much range to be left alone to live. health left. Sending you up there would be a dangerous endeavor, but if I don't send you up there, the brigand's gonna reach there. Fuck. Can you kill him? Please tell me you can kill him. You can't. Oh, that's the other thing up here. A Myrmidon. Alright, so you can safely come up here to attack me. Because, yeah, you can't reach up there. So how much damage can you do to the snag? 17, 12, 13. You can't break the snag. 15 strength. I could pass off a weapon to him to let him break the snag, but will that help I feel like this guy's still gonna reach the village in time. Uh, what to do, what to do. How do I get up here in time? I think I can. I think... I think that person is fucked.
That village is screwed. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks so much. I can reach him! Guaranteed 12. And then what's my chance of hitting my this 9? Damn near guaranteed. Yeah, let's go for it. Hector's fine. Those ruffians are attacking you? Our village is in danger too. We talked it over in here. It's all the money we've collected. If you'll chase off the bandits, it's yours. Okay. I might unironically kill everyone on this map. What's your health looking like? 18? What's your defense? 6. 6 defense, 5 speed. You'll double him easily with his 6 defense. You will deal five damage. So, ten damage overall. far can you reach? Decently far. Just wait there. Oh, uh, you can wait next to him. Matthew's doing really well for a unit that should not be in combat. A Myrmidon and Steel Sword. 10, 18. Nine damage twice. I'll be at four HP by the end of it. 
Luckily, I don't think you can hurt me at all. So while I am gonna be hurting, I'm not gonna be outright dead. I will, however, need to send some backup for him immediately. If Hector gets crit, I'm screwed. Alright, give- actually, let me look at his stats before I send Lowen in. So, 10 strength, you're obviously gonna hurt, hit like a truck. Wait, actually... You're pretty far away. Can anyone carry you? Let's see, your build is 13. You have just enough to lift him. No, you need to be higher. I need someone with 14. Do you have 14? Only 11, I'm surprised. No one can lift him, he has to get there on his own. Uh, I'll be out of turns before I can try. Alright. I could just say fuck it and give you the kill. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna let you have the kill. Cause yes, it's technically a waste of experience, but at the same time, the game never expected me to get this experience anyway, so is it really a waste? So yeah, you go up there and try to help Hector. You're of no help up there, because he's a sword unit, so you just stay here with Merlinus. We'll end this turn here. Heh, <sighs> looks like you breathed your last! Yep, 9 damage, no crit though, so that's good. Oh, he can't double me! You actually can hurt Hector, surprisingly. I was not expecting that, but it's fine. Hector will take free damage, free extra damage from that group. Alright, so Hector takes one damage from each of you, and nine from him. So, ten damage overall. Eleven overall, my apologies. You can't reach close enough to kill. You can reach close enough to kill this one. How far can you reach? You can't reach me. 9 speed, 18 might. Hector will survive on 1 HP. Attack her, let's see, 5, 11, 11, yeah, she'll be fine, so I'll wait here. Because he's on there, he's going to survive. That's annoying. Hector's now guaranteed to live. And I can't kill them, but you know what? It's fine. We can at least get you. Huh. <sighs>
blast! I won't forget this. The, then you're smarter than you look. Get out of here. Are you all right? Hmm? Oh ho! I... I've been saved! We've driven him off. Are you injured? No, not at all. As you can see, I'm as fine as I can be. I'm glad to see that. We'll take our leave then. Let's go, Hector. Wait a moment, please. A token of my thanks. Do not worry yourself. We did nothing to merit the reward. That's right. We've no need of a peddler's junk. P p peddler Hector! Oops. Ahem. I am Merlinus. You'll find no other traveling merchant whose goods compare. Don't let your eyes fool you. I'm quite prosperous. Huh? You're a merchant? Books and knives and all that, eh? Hector, your manners are terrible! Merlinus, please. Pay no mind to what this oaf has to say. No, of course not. I was concerned at... I wasn't concerned at... <laughs> By the way, you two obviously come from higher-born houses. Would you grant the, me the honor of your names? I am Eliwood, son of Marques of Ferre. I'm Hector, Marques Ostia's brother. Goodness! Ostia? Ferre? The greatest houses in all of Lycia! Ah... Uh, to be saved by noblemen such as yourselves... is an honor beyond words. It's nice to be appreciated for a change. Lately, pe lately people just seem to want us dead. Tell me, Merlinus, what are your plans? Pardon? My plans, my lord. I had planned to travel to Lycia selling my merchandise, but... It may not be possible in such dangerous times. If that's the case, why don't you come along with us? Hector? Our travels will not be ending anytime soon. We've gained some more people and more items, right? It might be good to have help managing our things. Oh ho, now that's a splendid idea! Managing merchandise is my specialty, after all. Are you sure? Quite sure, my lord. To be honest, I've dreamt of working for a noble house. To have my fondest wish granted in such a way. I cannot stem these chairs of joy. Lord Hector, Lord Eliwood, take me into your bosom and keep me safe forever. Uh, thank you. Well met, Merlinus. We're counting on you. Now, I've got some things I want you to carry. Yes, of course. Whatever you have, Merlinus will keep. Uh, this is one of those maps where I definitely would have been better off if I cheated and figured out the layout. Had I set my armor unit up at the start, I could have easily taken out that boss. Because Guy was more than enough for the enemies in the lower left corner. Uh, it sucks. I don't know. I wonder what I would have gotten had I killed that boss. Because most likely there would have been some type of extra reward. Let's see. Alright, it doesn't look like I would have actually gotten anything for killing him other than experience. He was holding a vulnerary, but there's no way of there's no way of knowing if he would have dropped the vulnerary. Well, there was a way of knowing on the map, but I never bothered to check. And even if he did, a vulnerary isn't anything to lose sleep over. Anyway, that's it for today's episode of Fire Emblem 7. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Must I enjoyed made it for you all. If you enjoyed and feel I deserve it, you can donate to me at buymeacoffee.com slash kingd353. Every donation's appreciated. Also, if you want, you can join my personal Discord. You, the link will be down below. There you can chat, play video games, share memes, and have a grand old time with me. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see all you beautiful people later. Deuces, kingdom.